Hey guys, it's Lena, and today I want to share a small life hack. It's um, it might be a common knowledge, but uh, to me it really came as a surprise how effective it um, it was and how effective it uh, might be um, to in order to help your own health, to help your own wellness. And this is such an easy hack, such an easy recipe that I really want everybody to know it and to uh, really want everybody to have it in their arsenal. So anyways, um, the treatment I recently uh, overcame called uh, Praxolana. It's a Ayurvedic uh, treatment and I Mm, the recipe is very very simple so you drink um, in the morning before you eat anything you drink uh, salty water uh, in my case it was three liters of salty water and it's uh, one tablespoon of um, oh no one te teaspoon of salt so <laughs> the smallest spoon um, for every uh, liter of uh, water and the water uh, i prefer liquid water and it's uh, maybe like 20 percent of hot boiling water and 80 percent of just room temperature water and um where i decided to do it so i've done it three times already and um i did it recently uh in order to help um me with uh, help on my body um you know like <laughs> get better uh after uh so i've i was sick recently i was sick with a very modern <laughs> virus and after that i uh, started notice and it was very difficult not to notice that i um really i was having uh, recurring headaches, I was having a uh, blocked nose, a uh, stuffed nose, and um, maybe some like this uh, stuff. So I felt like this, I felt like something was squeezing my nose, was squeezing my forehead. And it was so unpleasant, really, because I, um, I hope that. Um, and at first I didn't realize it was like the aftermath of um, virus, of the virus. And um, so when I realized that something was really wrong, I started watching other people's videos who also had um, the virus recently. And they talked about uh, the importance of cleansing your body, of cleansing uh, from all the toxins. Uh, from that virus and so I decided to uh, do Praxalana again and it really worked like a miracle because I wasn't expecting that much of a result so that's why I'm recording this video because I think everybody should know about this option about this treatment and uh, how inexpensive almost free it is uh, how simple it is and uh, it, it's very difficult to cause any harm by uh, practicing this treatment. And um, I think the benefits are so big. So it's, I highly recommend everyone, even if you don't have, like even if you think that your, your body is crystal clean or you don't have any problems with your health, I think it's important to uh, clean your body once in a while. So, anyways, um, after I did um, Praxalana, um, so I think about a week ago, all the symptoms of stuffed nose, um, headaches, very severe headaches. So I had such severe headaches, so I was really considering taking some medicine uh, like um, analgetics, uh, some anti-pain medicine and um, I don't really like taking any pills so I really thought that I should do something about it and so I did. So um, 
um, what is Prakshalana? Prakshalana is um, clearing your whole um, um, how, what is it in, in English? Um, so anyway, your whole uh, digestive system <laughs> with uh, salty water. Uh, for uh, So as I said before, for one liter of salty water, you need about a tablespoon of salt. No, why tablespoon? Oh my God. Teaspoon of salt. <laughs> <laughs> Not a tablespoon. If you add a tablespoon of water of salt into a liter of water, it it will be uh, too salty. Very, it's almost unbearable to consume. So just maybe um, try to define your own uh, percentage because, um, to my opinion, it should be consumable. It should be not like pleasant to drink but it shouldn't make you warm it or something like that so anyways i add one teaspoon small spoon of salt in each liter i drink and i drink three liters in total so what do you do you drink uh, about uh for, for me personally i really like mixing one liter at the time and so I drink about one third of a bottle or maybe like a glass of this salty water. And then I start uh, doing a bit of physical exercises. So like maybe some yoga, maybe something more intense. It doesn't really matter. As long as you feel okay, as long as you feel like the water in your body, in your digestive system, it is moving, it should be moving. Um, it should go, um, go to every corner of your digestive system. And uh, so um, after about a liter, you should feel an urge to go to the toilet. And of course, because ev the water, it's like, uh, so it's like it, it pressures everything all can, uh, that uh, your digestive system contains and it will go down. So it's like a, a water elevator from the highest floor to the lowest floor to the basement. And so it is very important. It is very crucial that you uh, do it maybe preferably uh, if you are by yourself alone um you have no distractions so if you have work it's not an option I, I highly recommend to do this if you have at least three hours or four hours just to be safe in the morning so for example if you don't have a lot of time and you have uh, um, this opportunity maybe to wake up a little bit earlier I don't know. Well, I have this opportunity because I work freelance and so as soon as I realized that I have half of the day, the first half of the day off, I decided to do this uh, practice. I decided to do Prakshalana. And so, um, anyways, um, you drink one, let's just say, one glass of salty water and you move. So it's very important to do some exercises, some jump, some run, some just do some squats. It doesn't really matter. And so um, and after about a liter, you go to the toilet, maybe for the first time, maybe after a little or a little liter and a half, maybe after two liters. It depends. It really depends. For example, my mom was a bit worried. She started to worry a bit after two liters because uh, her body was a, a bit was um, a bit more stuck, a bit more with like all the uh, that residue. Uh, so it was a little bit longer for her, but for me it was maybe after a liter, liter and something. And after that, eat all your <laughs> bathroom visits should become 
more and more frequent and you will realize that all the water you cons consumed earlier um, is going down uh, and um, it will go down uh, in the end after the third liter uh, basically your, your water will become maybe like very very slight yellowish uh, so it's almost almost clear so it's like your digestive system is very clear now after three liters so three liters are from like women ratio female ratio for people or maybe for uh, teenagers uh, for like up to maybe 65 70 kilos uh, of body mass and uh, for Men, for example, uh, there are some recommendations uh, like um, maybe four and a half liters, five liters. I recommend you um, being very careful with, with that. So if you're just starting, maybe start with three liters or even less. If it's too difficult to finish that third bottle, doesn't matter. It will, uh, you will get the benefits anyways. Maybe not like the crystal clear water, but anyways, it will be okay. So, and um, after that, uh, what yogis recommend is a very light diet like rice or something like that. What um, can I say about it? So, I didn't do any recommended diet so uh, most of the times i just ate my food uh, but i don't recommend it eating very complicated food like meat or something that should be digested for a long time so maybe rice or i don't know some something like something something easy not not very fatty food or not very sugary food just something light maybe some eggs or i don't know i don't know i'm not an expert and also um, there are some recommendations that before this procedure you should also follow um, a diet for some time maybe for some days or some weeks even it's totally up to you i never did it and um, i feel fine totally fine it's it's really up to you and um also guys although i know that it's a great procedure and it affects amazing my body amazingly my health improves like drastically i highly recommend you to know more about this procedure to get as much information is as you need because it doesn't matter if this procedure helps me your body can be different your situation can be different you can have uh, different i don't know illnesses or something like that different restrictions so please uh, gather as much information is as possible and of course I really um, hope that this life hack this small advice um, may be uh, interesting to you may help you feel better healthier um, happier maybe and i hope seeing you in the next video please let me know um, what you think about this procedure if you tried it or not uh, what were your results uh, if you have any other advice uh, on that matter please also write it down in the comment section down below A like and subscribe to the channel see you in the next one bye bye